Welcome to the final wager for this last day of February, and finally, for the first time this week, Arthur has given me something to work with. 22,400 Simret, just over half his total with 11,400. Dawn 7,400 won't be in contention here. Let's start with Arthur and Simret. Simret doubles up. He's going to have 22,800. So to cover him, Arthur should wager 400. Now if he gets it wrong, he's going to be left with 22,000. So to cover that, Simret will have to wager at least 10,600. This is where things get interesting, and I'll talk about this in a minute. Between Simret and Don, it doesn't really matter what Don's going to do because Simret has to cover Arthur. So if Sunray gets it wrong with that, he's going to be left with 800, so to stay above him, Don can wager up to uh, 6,600, we'll make that 6,599. Arthur and Sunray both wagered the bare minimum that they had to do. Now I'm going to pull up a chair to discuss this point. I'm going to call it corollary number two. It's something I've hinted at many times in the past, but I've never made clear. If you have to get it right to have a chance to win, wager everything. Simrit wagered so that if Arthur got it wrong and wagered 401, which is the typical lockout bet, Simrit would win by a dollar. Okay. We've seen that wager many times in the past, even with very good players. The problem is, if Simrit gets it wrong, he's not going to win with 800. Arthur is not going to wager some big amount. Maybe he'll get second place, but the whole point, my rule number zero, is to win the game or tie the game and come back the next day. You don't maximize your chances by leaving that $800 off. Just because you want a better shot at an extra G had he missed. And as we saw, it wouldn't have even mattered because Don wagered properly. And it's not just thinking that your opponent might wager for the tie. There's also a chance that he'll miscalculate and not wager enough to lock you out. But that could help him because he'll stay above you either way because you didn't wager enough. And this has happened in the past with very good players. I'm sorry, Brian, but I had to bring it up. Well, this was interesting. It was nice to see someone in contention with Arthur after five games of almost total dominance. And I'm looking forward to the Battle of the Decades returning on Monday. And I hope you'll return too. We'll see you then, on the final wager. Have a great weekend.